Hello and welcome to the radio shop. Last week I was viewing a video from one of my subscribers, the Volt Log, and his video number 26. He shows a new transistor component tester. And seeing that this was a kit, I had to have one. But uh, he goes through and shows you how to put it together and shows you all the functions that it'll do. So I ran on over to banggood.com and uh, you can see for $18.09 with free shipping they will ship this to you. I ordered it last Friday and received it Monday. Um, I didn't know I had gotten it until about 9 o'clock last night. What I liked about this tester the most is that it is a kit. And you know we all enjoy putting kits together. So uh, when you get it some assembly is required. This tester is a little different than some of the other ones. Um, it has a lot more uh, features in it. Not only does it test several different components, it also has a square wave generator, a PWM pulse single generator, and a frequency meter. It also will test rotary encoders. I already have two of these meters. This is the first one I purchased. And after a couple of weeks it quit on me. When you mash the button, you can only see bars across it. I was checking some capacitors, and one day uh, I was checking some very high voltage capacitors, so that may be what has zapped it. I don't know if it corrupted the program in the MCU or if it uh, has made the MCU fail. I had to check it out. The next one I ordered, which is the same one, I put it in a case and. Uh, I know to make sure all capacitors are discharged. One thing that this one will not do, you cannot check capacitors in circuit. The new one, as shown on the Volt Log channel, you can test in circuit. So after checking the mailbox last night, I saw that it had arrived. And it comes in a little bag. It comes from Canada. And on the side of it, it has Made in China. When we're moving it from the box with a bag, it comes in a little box. The first thing that worries me is that the box is not crushed. I have to remember there's a circuit board and the LCD inside. And all the parts come in an empty static bag. I'm not going to go through the time to uh, show you how to put it together. And... Uh, do all the testing because uh, you can already find that on the internet. Volt Log has two videos on it already. I will link in all the uh, um, videos in this one so you can go back and review those. It does not come with no instructions. Uh, you can download a manual from banggood.com. Here's all the parts laid out on the bench, um, as mentioned by Volt Log. Uh, you need to go in and check your resistors, check the tolerance on them. None of the parts are, or none of the resistors are marked. The transistors and capacitors are marked, so there should be no problem there. Um, there is a thread on eevblog.com about these different type of uh, testers. So I'll link that in below. If you haven't checked that out, you really need to. They've got some good information in that thread. And there we go, we have the unit all completed. Um, we did the test, you check for 5 volts on pin 5 and 22 of the uh, MCU socket, that passed. So, took less than an hour to put it together, so let's check this thing out and see what it does. This is the capacitor that they send with it for calibration. We'll whack it in there. Hit the button, testing the battery voltage, and 214.9 nanofarads. And it also gives the ESR and the symbol. Have a 4700 microfarad capacitor. Let's see what it'll do with it.
here it shows it at 4609 microfarads with zero ESR very nice have just a random transistor put it in and it tells me it's a PNP has a beta of 507 and forward voltage of uh, 678 millivolts if you notice it also gives the uh, symbol down here on the bottom right hand side along with the pin out this is a MOSFET transistor we'll whack it in there and test it and it tells us everything we need to know about this transistor along with the pin out just gate source and drain I notice this unit stays on a little longer than my other units. We're going to whack a resistor in there. Test it. 114.6 ohms, 100 watt resistor. So not bad. It's a good little kit. And that's what I like about it. You get to put it together yourself. So I'm a lot of ham operators. We love to uh, put things together, and it's always fun when you put it together and test it, and it works. Anyway, uh, that's about all I have on this. If uh, you like, you can jump over on the EEV blog, check out the thread. I'll leave a link down below, and you can check out the bolt log videos. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. We'll catch you next time. Bye.